Oh my God, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Oh yeah. That's right, I mean, her mom does work at a diner, so... Yeah, she would, she would make pretty amazing breakfasts. Oh, it's from Kate. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school, and the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. <gasps> Photo! Oh, the shirt! That is one of the photos, isn't it? Yeah, top right. There it is. Whoops. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Can, can I, can I, can I do it? When you say maybe it's time, do you mean like right now? Because if you can dye your hair right now, I'm so gonna dye your hair. No? Wait, maybe I can take a shower. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No, I can't. Damn it. Oh, I'm just thinking of the... <sighs> remember Gone Home? I remember the whole hair dye thing and uh, there was a note about... There was a note about how having... Um. God, damn, I forgot their names. No, I forgot the names of the characters in Gone Home. That's one of my favorite games. How could I have forgotten? But I remember one of the characters talking about how they, uh, she, she dyed her hair, or maybe it was the other one that dyed her hair. But talking about like running their hands through the other person's hair and how that felt so intimate. And now that's all I keep thinking about. Oh god, I'm gonna cry if I stay in here. Let's go down for breakfast. Whoops. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I seriously forgot the names of the characters and gone home? That horrifies me. How could I have forgotten? right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> ah, I'm terrible with names. That's my excuse. I think I've looked at these before. Yeah, I think so. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Hmm. This is a hard moral decision. Pancakes or eggs and bacon? Well, I think the last thing I 
had from her when I was at the diner was a waffle, I think? And pancakes are kind of like waffles. So let's go with something different. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I'm totally going to help her make breakfast. In about a half hour when I'm done looking around. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Who drinks beer this early around here? Okay, I really don't like the sound of dogs barking. Please close that. Ah. <sighs> There's a stain on the carpet here, right? Wasn't there? Where is it? There it is. It's from years and years ago, right? Jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? What? what? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. This bird out of here? What? What bird? I don't see a bird in here. Seriously, if... If she meant something other than a literal bird, then that went totally over my head. I don't get it. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, <sighs> bacon. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Wait. You're telling me the eggs aren't in the fridge? Where are they? And you just leave the milk out on the counter? But it's gonna spoil faster. This is very disturbing. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I, I, I can't find the eggs. This quest is too hard. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was uh -oh. identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. I, yeah, I can erase it, but thing is, she's already heard it, so I'm, actually what I should do is reverse it before I played it and then erase it. Message deleted. You'll never know. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Oh, there's the eggs. What, they, they just left these right here at room temperature? Come on, everything's probably spoiled now. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I mean, look at those bananas. Do you know how quickly bananas spoil? It's like mayonnaise. You leave them out in the sun for a couple hours and... food poisoning. This might be the one time these people are right. <laughs> the end is now. <laughs> join, join the Church of Final Revelation this month and get a free dispensation from hell! Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is.
Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Uh, before I sit, can I go outside? Might be some photos out here. Maybe a bird on a chair? I know that was a picture. See, look at this. You don't just leave ketchup and mustard out. I mean, maybe they're empty, but... God. They must have to buy, like, entirely new food every single day because all their food goes bad. Oh, whoa. Birdie? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Did it... Oh my god, that lighting. Holy crap, look at that sky. I was gonna say, did it just die? Maybe I can rewind. Seriously, oh my god, look at that. I've got a... This, this is like wallpaper material. Let me see if I can get a good angle. Um... Maybe... God. This game is gorgeous. Alright. Yeah, let me see if I can maybe rewind. No? It's been there the whole time. each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Combined with a dead bird being in the frame the whole time in the music. No, 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 no. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? There's more. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. <sighs> Alright, let's go eat. David's coming to breakfast. I have a feeling this is not going to be a pleasant morning breakfast. Mm. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess nobody waters the plant here. See, I water too much, they water too little. Never the right amount of water. 
life. <laughs> Muggs is number one dad. Fuck no. More like number two billionth dad. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. You know, I actually prefer creamy peanut butter too. I do. I really do. My brother prefers crunchy and he can't believe he can't believe that I actually like creamy, but I do. I like the processed stuff, the stuff that you can leave out at room temperature and somehow through whatever weird voodoo magic they've used, it, it never goes bad at room temperature. I like Seeing it. Seeing you again ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. <laughs> now who's being paranoid? <laughs> Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. At first, I thought she actually was I being kind of crazy. I do need to get into but... David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. But nope, she's actually just doing a really, really good job distracting her. Perfect. Alright, I've been waiting a long time to get a peek at his files. Looks like there's nothing to do but actually look at the laptop. Just take a quick look around. Yep, okay. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? <laughs> Try again. I need more clues. Unfortunately, I don't think he's that self-aware to give that to make that his password. Nothing to see here. Ooh, corn. It looks like that was a can of corned beef. That's got to be the password. Corned beef. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. Don't really feel the love, dude. Eh, it's probably not stepdad. It's too simple. I don't remember what that symbol means, the one that just popped up. Does that mean there's something new to try? Nope. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. 
Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. I would not call him a gentleman. That might be a useful password. Hmm, the date that they first kind of... got together, sort of? Or the date that they first met, I guess? Definitely has potential. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. I hope there isn't a limit on how many wrong passwords you can get at one time or I'm gonna have to rewind because I've got so many to try. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Alright, one of these has got to be it. Such wrong. No way, Max. You told me <laughs> froze the laptop. <laughs> Gotta rewind. I knew it. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Wait, that was three incorrect attempts? What? I thought I rerun further than that. I guess I should keep going. I was rewinding every time I opened anything. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, let's keep going all the way. Come on, just a little bit further. Yeah. Magic 8-Ball says no. Oh, shit balls. Whoops. Let's do the last one in personal. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Ooh. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Frank? Why does David care? It's a bad person to be involved with. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel went to the Lighthouse. That's the thing I've been seeing all the time. Hmm. Alright, incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35pm at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported to David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called 
called into question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. <laughs> wow, look at that. Kate M follows same path to every class. He's, he's just, he's stalking her. Over Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Dex Club party, drugs. It's fucking paranoid. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. What the hell? <laughs> Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Alright. That's a weird prejudice to have. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. So even checking me out, of course. He even has my school schedule. Is that it? I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Well, hold on, doesn't he have a ton of, like, surveillance tapes or, or files? Up in the cupboards or something? Those I want to see. Good distraction. Where'd she go? Oh. <laughs> Alright, they've got their backs turned to each other. I guess the argument's at a standstill. Uh-oh. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? This is going south real fast, but I think it kind of needs to happen. But I can side with David? I'm not going to side with David. Fuck no. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't really care if she does hate me. Well, I kind of do. I like her. But... It needed to happen. 
<laughs> David, he's such a gentleman. Oh, yes. I can speak with him? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think I want to. This is going to tear this family apart, but the thing is, I don't... I don't... Honestly, I don't think it really is going to tear the family apart. Because I think the family is already kind of torn apart. I think it's just revealing what's already there. Yeah. Kind of making obvious the... The rotten foundation of this family, sort of. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Where did Chloe go? Back up to her- oh, there she is. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I'm not going to. Alright, let's go talk with David, I guess. I, I don't know what the hell I'm going to say to him. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Fair enough. Alright, we're going to go. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. What the heck is that guy eating? Look at his plate. It's like a big pile of... chocolate chip cookie? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. <laughs> casual ninjas. <laughs> Should be the name of a band. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, wait, wait, and... Wait, what? Uh, and... Chloe, I got this. <laughs> I'll be right back. Leave it to me. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Okay, well, first thing I need is a picture, because I think there's a picture of his RV. Wait, what'd you find in the trash, Chloe? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Alright, so ground for photo opportunities. Another dead bird. What is going on here? More. Was it from Dad? Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl. As am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. If you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Yeah, her parents seem really nice. Wait, what was that? Oh, another bird. I swear there was a photo opportunity with the RV and the flag, but there's no flag. Huh, you know, oh, you know what? It's probably from the inside of the RV. Yeah. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? <laughs> um. Yes. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. 
you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Given what's happened with the birds, I can't even imagine what's happened to the fish. Um. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Hey, so no photo, girl. Huh? Are you serious? You're really gonna picture block me. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Okay. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying Whoa. to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Well, he's a fucking prick. He just called Kate Marsh uh, a slut. I do really want a picture, though. I guess I should rewind. Hmm. Let's see if that changes anything. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Oh, right, now I know the details about his truck. Okay. Actually... I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Oh, nothing. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. <laughs> sure changes attitude real fast. It is a pretty truck, even if the guy's a complete prick. There we go. Yeah, still a lot of pictures left. Okay, um... The first thing I probably should have done is just to see whether I can just simply get inside. Locked. Okay, <laughs> gotta try the simplest thing first. How far nope, can I go down I here? Don't Not want very to far. Go there. If I remember right, I don't think I can cross the street. Nope. <laughs> Did you hear what he just was? What he just like hummed to himself? Like do ba da ba do ba ding. I wonder if I should rewind and talk to this guy again. I wonder if I could do anything extra with him. You have to rewind a lot, though. Good morning. How are the? F Don't ask. Well, oh, there we go. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None. None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. 
See you around, kid. Nothing like a salty fisherman. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Oh god, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. <gasps> Whoa, it's a, like, holy crap, it actually looks kind of like a tornado of ants. But I think this might be the picture. That is a really weird effect, actually. It literally looks like a tornado. Like, that's the sort of thing you see on weather forecasts. So ominous. That really doesn't look right. It just looks bizarre. It's like super pixelated. Has nobody noticed all the dead birds around here? God, that's one hell of a picture. Creepy. Oh yeah, you. I'll talk to her again in a second. Hi, how are you? I remember you. Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Oh. Um. <laughs> Would you even believe me? Uh. I'm gonna do it. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Oh, I thought I was going to tell her that I have the power to rewind time. Uh. Alright, let's go inside of the diner. <laughs> 